<laughs> okay, as soon as now. Uh, hey, everybody. Whew, this is uh, going to be something else. Let me uh, fix that up there. Single page. Yeah, that's good. Um, hello. <laughs> it is uh, Solo Sunday, technically. Well, kind of. Uh, it is Solo Sunday somewhere, and... I'm going to be playing Rune again, Gila RPG's solo role-playing game uh, with tactical combat stuff. It's getting pretty good. We are here in the Fell Woods. Uh, last time we rocked out the Dreco lands, uh, felt real easy. I don't think this is going to be easy. I think this one's going to be really hard. Uh, maybe. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. So, in the fell woods, the taint of runic influence hangs heavy in the air. Horrors lurk between the trees of the fell woods. The people of this realm look battered and broken, but resilient. Perhaps there is a chance to mend their fate along with yours. Or perhaps your bones will fill a beast's belly. If they, if they want me, I, they can just eat me over and over again, and I can keep respawning, and then they'll be full, and then they won't have bee problem anymore, right? Anyway, uh, this is the fell woods. The Fellwoods has a couple things. Uh, it is being plagued by beasts and a beast lord. That's our rune lord. It's got two clocks. It's got a, a plague clock. So anytime I move to a point or complete an action, that's going to mark the plague clock. It's an eight clock. And every time the plague clock fills, we mark one of the settlements. It's overrun and lost. This is bad because they have stuff like militias and walls and stuff that can help in the final fight. And there's a lot of cool stuff that I want to get and not, <laughs> not get wrecked. But something's going to get wrecked. Hopefully I can get there before it does. Um, when, a, when it's lost, uh, it's lost. It's gone. Uh, the plague clock or the siege clock gets marked every time the plague clock fills up. It's a six clock. Uh, when it fills up, the Rune Lord attacks, or we can go back and attack him early if we feel spunky about it. So the Rune Lord, well, let me tell you, uh, point is lost. You can still travel through it, not a problem. Uh, some of the fights are situational, which means they're only there if the siege clock has been marked a certain number of times. So, yeah, we'll see how that works. Um, and... Uh, some are optional, and we just don't have to do them, <laughs> it looks like. So, yeah, boons, um, yeah, they're, they're super good. Um, yeah, we'll see those when we get to them. I haven't looked at them all, but they look pretty cool. And our rune lord, uh, this rune lord is a bummer, because if we fight the rune lord and lose, the fell woods fall. And we cannot attempt it again. So we get one one shot at this. And that's going to be rough. Uh, death penalty. <sighs> Siege clock gets marked. That's fine. So uh, we start here. So let's let's gear up first. So there's some there's some there's a whole bunch like beasts will show up all over the place. Um, I've put together. Let's take a look at the keeper while we're here. Um, I made that bigger. Okay, let me edit that a little smaller there. Uh, hey, Keeper, what you doing? A little bit smaller, maybe. Yeah, okay. All right, so here are the Fell Woods. We start uh, over uh, the left side in the middle at 1 at Hartford, I think it is. Um... Hartford, and that's where my sigil is. Uh, there's a bunch of things I can do there. I don't know if I want to do them straight off because I got a plan. I want to go uh, over to 6, down to 8, and then hit 9 and 10. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hopefully that won't hit the plague clock before I get to it. Although I do want to get some stuff, so... We'll hope for the best. We'll hope for the best. Um... Yeah, so that's a couple towns I think I can hit pretty easily. Or maybe I go down to seven first. I don't know. Um, and there's no little descriptions here. Because uh, seven has... 
Uh, there's an obstacle fight. I can get lore. So I can go down seven, one, lore, two. I want that Beast Bane blade, though, I think. Because that Beast Blade, Beast Blade blade, uh, that gets me uh, plus one harm to beasts, which is pretty good. It's only adjacent, but it's good for movie and harmy. Uh, and it's versatile, so I can do uh, a lot of stuff with it. It's, it looks really cool. Um, so, Beast Bane Blade, Beast Bane Blade. So, head to the Berg, head to the Berg, fight, learn. Head to Hinselton. And I don't think I'm going to worry about Hinselton just yet. I'm going to go down to the Ranger's Hut. I can do my learn and search before the plague goes off. And then come back up. That's eight. The plague will go off. And then hit ten. The Outrider camp. Get the banner. Maybe I can get a horse. <laughs> That'll be cool. So, um, yeah, that's my plan. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be. Um, Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this is gonna be, it's gonna be bad. Uh, nine and ten. Yeah. So hopefully I can get there and it doesn't kick off the plague before I get there. That will suck. But uh, yeah, and once I get the horse, it's gonna be easier to travel. Blah blah blah. Let's do this. So I'm not gonna learn yet because I need to conserve my, conserve my stuff. Or do I? I don't know. I don't know. Um. I'm coming back here to get the horse anyway, so hopefully, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. So instead of doing anything here, I'm going to travel down to seven, and that's one. So I will mark my clock once, plague clock. Um, optional fight is not there. I can, if I win the fight... If I win the fight, they give me the Beast Bane Blade, though. Oh, I forgot to set up my guy. So, here's my plan. Here's my big plan. Um, the great, the Axe and Shield is really cool. Um, but, I got that, um, what did I get? Where's my, where's the sweet sword I got? There it is, Drake's Talon. Um, Drake's Talon, block one, harm two. So, always going to let me block one and a three better. If I roll two dice, it's, it's going to be... This is going to be good. It's good. I can't block, but... So, I might take... So, let's see. Basic harm one, move one, harm two, move one, harm three. Um, this works on a two, the sword does. This needs a three... But it does, um, it lets me block more, but move less. And I do need to move much. I, I kind of want to just keep the sword. Uh, I feel like the beasts are going to be not super bad. Maybe go, or the axe is so cool though. <laughs> and the axe is going to let me cleave, which I'm going to need. Because I think there's going to be a lot of beasts. I don't know. Um. Let's say I'm going to keep the... I mean, I have Axe and Shield. I can switch up if I need to. I feel like that's going to be good. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, my gear is going to be the Spellstone. Um, if I take, take at plus one harm, at least. Did I do this wrong last time? I think I might have done it wrong last time. Or not. Take at least one harm this round. One more. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I'm feeling good about this. I'm, this lets me cast spells. I think that's great. I have a bunch of spells I can use. Um, that's awesome. So, here are my... Uh, let's reset us back to 12 out of 12. Uh, 2 stamina and 0 lore. Um, all these are gone. <laughs> all my good stuff is gone. Stop that. Come on. Boop. Great. Um, 
So the Fates Fury Rune is good. Fates Foe is good. Let's talk about the Draco Rune. Once per combat, deal three harm to all enemies or prevent all harm for a round. I think that's my guy. I think that's my guy. Um, I think that's going to serve me real well. And uh, we'll see why when we get to combat. Because I think... Um, I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of little punks that are like I think I'm gonna get attacked by a lot of stuff, but I think they all have relatively low health. I don't know for sure, so we'll see. Maybe they'll be bigger for us. Um, yeah, so I feel pretty good about this loadout. Um, that other the other rune, uh, ignore the first pet death penalty, and I, I'm not super concerned about it. And whenever I kill a unique enemy, unique enemy gain all my health. I don't think I need to worry about that. So this is my loadout for now. I can swap out the axe and shield between combats. I feel like I'm going to be pretty good with this setup. So that's it. Let's get back to it. Um, I'm at the Berg. So the... Uh, where am I? Uh, I'm sorry. Where did I go? Um, where's my, oh, <laughs> let's go back to the sheet here. Mm, well, the Draco lands over there. Okay. Um, so seven, the Berg, I, I'm going to fight these beasts. I'm going to fight the beasts. It's optional. It's not required to complete the learn action, but, um, if I win the fight, they give me this beast bang blade and it seems pretty cool. Um, Beast Bay Blade. Move two, harm one. Move one, harm two. I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm worried about... Uh, well, I'm worried about a lot of stuff. I think... I'll check this out. Rippers and Stalkers all have three health. And I can do three per damage. Per, I can do three to all enemies per combat. So, I can kill them, get that sweet blade, and so it'll be one, might as well do two. So that's three clicks up, three ticks, four. Five. Six, seven, eight. So I might as well do it while I'm here. Um, let's fight the Berg. And, you know, so let's take a look at the combat map. Right. Um, there's my grave. That was a thing. Um, how about that? Cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, don't need to look at the Draconic Knight. Um, so two smashers at A1 and D4. Two rippers at C1 and B4. Uh, two stalkers at D1 and A4. Smashers. And poor little engraved in the middle at C3. There I am. So, uh, these guys, uh, I can show you the. So, these are Smashers, Stalkers, and. Nope, this one. Uh, Smashers, Stalkers, and Rippers. So, best they're going to do is move one, harm one, same adjacent. Move two, harm. See, the Rippers is what I'm worried about. I guess. So, well, we're in combat, so let's see what happens. Um, the combat's only going to last one turn. It's just a matter of how much damage I take. So, I'm going to roll for one, two, three, four, five, six, or I'll do the two smashers up and down. I'm going to do them in the order that we had there. So, that's going to be six dice. Six of dice. Mm, cool. 
cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yikes. Okay. There's our numbers. Let's take a look at what this means. So, the... Uh, smashers. Two and four. So, move one, harm one, and move two, harm two. So, move one... Closer to me. And this is move two, harm two. So he's gonna move right on top of me. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, the two rippers. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was right. Yeah. Uh, the two rippers are at four and three, and that is all move three, harm three. Same and adjacent. Wow. Okay, so they're gonna go one, two, three. Yikes. Um, and one, two, and that's as close as they can get. Jesus. This is a bad time, man. And this let me, lets me do once per combat, deal three harm, or prevent all harm. Maybe this combat was a real bad idea. Oh, well. Uh, I'm going to kill them all anyway. <laughs> so the, um, the two, what are they? Two stalkers are going to do four and five. So that's going to be move one and move three leap. Uh, deals harm equal to the number of spaces moved this turn. Jeez. Okay. So uh, the first stalker is going to move one. Oh, man. Oh, and they're only... Oh, same and adjacent. Okay. Um, this one is moving one. I wish it was the other way around. Oh, wait. It's A4 and... D1 and A4, yeah, okay. And this one is moving three and doing a leap. One, two, and that's as far as I can do. Um, so that's gonna do, so let's tally up the harm here. Um, geez, okay. Uh, that first smasher is not gonna do anything, right? That second smasher is going to do harm three, three harm. Um, that first, I'm mean, sorry, first ripper, two rippers. Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right, yeah. Two smashers. Uh, smashers are move one, harm one, so nothing, and move two, harm two, so that's two. Great. Rippers, right? Yeah. C1, B4. They both attack same and adjacent. Um, ripper is going to do four and three, so they're both going to do harm two. That's six harm altogether. Yikes. Um, what did I do? What did I do to myself? Uh, and then the stalker, uh, one of them is not doing anything. The other one's doing leap, which is doing two harm to me. Um, same and adjacent. So that's eight harm altogether. That's eight harm altogether. Time for a hopies, hopies. Oh, you can't. Uh, hope just candy. It's uh, from the Netherlands, where I'm going to be in a couple weeks. So, let me roll. Let me roll my stamina and see what happens. Um, that's that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. A six and a two. Cool. So a six and a two. Uh, I am going to take at least one harm this turn, so I can use my spells. Um, I can do a siphon for two. That'll take me down to six harm. Um, that doesn't do me any good. Um... <laughs> Firebolt will do harm three and... Oh. Hmm. Maybe we can do this. Okay. Oh, mama, yeah. Okay. So, uh, the jump on the Firebolt spell. 
If the targeted enemy is killed by a spell, which it will be, you may choose another adjacent to them also receive the spell's effect. So, um, if I do the range on that is two or three spaces. <laughs> so, I can target the Stalker, killed, Ripper, killed, Smasher, killed, Stalker, killed, or the Ripper. I think those Rippers are worse. I will burn my Dragon thing for taking no harm this round. Now when it says adjacent. <laughs> adjacent to them. So adjacent means one away. There's still going to be one stalker alive and one smasher alive. I'm pretty confident I can deal with them. Um, and my two gets me nothing. But I can't use that spell unless I take harm. Hmm. Which negates the purpose of doing it all. So. Maybe I just block take six harm. And call it a day. Or, once per fight, I can use a weapon twice in a single round. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm blocking two. Mm, let me roll my stamina again. Two and one. I can add that to a three. That'll give me a block one. Okay, that'll take me down to five harm. Five problem and kill them all. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Let's do it. Five harm and kill them all. Draco rune, uh, fireball. Everyone take five harm. They take me down to seven, and they're all dead. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, and these, these are not here. They would not have been able to get me anyway. Oh. Did I do that fight entirely wrong? Let me try this again. P2 and 3. Let me back up here. Hmm. Let me rewind for a second. Smasher's at A1D4. Ripper's at C1B4. Stalker's at D1A4. Okay, let's re redo these moves again now that the terrain is there. Permanent terrain at B2 and 3 and C2. Got it. So, uh, okay, so the two, what, the two, sorry, it's all flipping around, um, two smashers do, uh, what were those dice rolls? Oh, there they are. <laughs> um, where are they at? Okay, two smashers, got a two and a four. Move one and move two. And that is A1 and D4. Okay. That was right. That's right. Yeah, I don't think this changes anything. I just want to double check and make sure. Rippers. Get four and a three. And that's move three, harm three, both of them. Both of them. Move three, harm three, both of them. One, 
two, three. One, two, three. Stalker jumps. Stalker moves. Doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. I think everything was right. Okay. Okay. What a mess. But did it. All good. Um, pop our terrain off. I'm alive. I did it. And now, because I did it, I get the Beast Bane Blade. So, um, let me just double check. Uh, so the Plague Clock moved one. One for fighting. And I may as well take that lore as well. So that's three on the on the plague clock but I get that Bane Blade or whatever it is Beast Bane Blade mm, which looks real cool plus one harm to beasts yeah man that's cool that's cool that's cool that's cool um, let me do this I'm gonna look at the Beast Bane Blade here uh, I'm gonna make the items for it real quick and I can put those right onto my Draco blade. Draco ta Drake's Talon does the same kind of, same vibe. Great. And this is the Beast Bane blade. One handed. And the Beast Bane blade, two handed. Beast Bane blade, two handed. Uh, it is a versatile sword weapon, great. Uh, One-handed is adjacent, and two-handed is adjacent. Great. Um, three and four does. Uh, three and four does move to harm one. That's all does, uh, plus one, add a note, Beast Bane, plus one damage to the beasts, plus one harm to beasts, sorry. And I'll put the same note on, and I'll put the same note on there, great. Uh, move one to harm one and move one to harm two. Move two harm one. Okay, and then so a five to six is move one, harm one, block two. Just jiggle, 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 jiggle. Oh, golly. Mm, okay. Uh, seven gets us a harm three. And eight gets us a block one harm five. I might switch to that for the boss, but uh, yeah. The symbol of a stag is pressed into the base of the blade. When turned, the blade rips and tears at flesh it bites. A cruel twist on its origin. Okay, cool. Beast Bane Blade got. So, um, next up is going to number eight. So, so I could fight. Um, looks like another another bunch of fucking beasts. I'm not crazy. I don't know what the Windwalker mark is. What does the Windwalker mark get me? Windwalker mark. Deal harm before your enemies deal theirs. What? That's cool, but I don't think it's going to be great for me right now. Because uh, time time is of the essence. So I'm not going to do any of this. While not as large as Hartford, the small city of Hinselton acts as a place with formidable power. Its walls are ravaged with claw marks and soaked in blood. Um, I don't know if that's a place you can get whacked, but... Ah! Um, yeah, 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 yeah. These beasts are really bad, y'all. Um... So let's see. Um, plague clock, one for traveling, one, two for learning and fighting, another one for going to number eight. 
Now I'm going to travel to... Wait a minute, let me, let me double check what we get here. Because um, when the clock goes off, uh, 9 can't get hit, but 10 can get hit. So I'm going to go to 10 first. Um, Outrider camp, great. So I'm going to travel to it. I'm going to search and get the Outrider banner. And I'm going to put that on my guy. So jiggly. I made a mistake with this. Well, I've got a. I made a little um, standing -ish desk thing, and it's uh, it's on a on the wall on a French cleat, so I can take it off and on. And it's a little jiggly. I think. I'm not sure what I did with it, but I'm not sure where it's flexing. But I don't like it. Anyway. Um, hey hi. So I've got my Outriders banner. I, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Um, if I delve, I gain one use of the Outrider Boon. The Outrider Boon may be used at any time to reduce the number of segments marked on the Siege Clock on one, if number eight is not whacked. I may as well, right? Let's go ahead and delve, get the Outrider Boon. It has... Uh, can be used at any time. Oh, it's got one use. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, that seems like I could uh, just... Uh, let me grab uh, the Outrider Boon. My return key is sticking on my new keyboard and I'm not super crazy about it. Um, and let me mark that next tick. Great. So I'm going to move back to eight and that ticks off the plague clock. All right, um, let me pop over to uh, Keeper here. So that's the that's the plague clock ticked. Um, back to uh, reality here. Uh, so I'm at point eight right now. I should use a little. Oh, I can make. Let me make a little marker. Hang on. Let me make a little guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I insert a little thing? Can I? What's a smart chip? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, can I insert a drawing? I just want to add a little circle. Let me get a circle. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make it, like, just gonna make it that guy there. And, uh, what color is it gonna be? It's gonna be... Nope. Uh, that? Nope. Over here. There we go. Boom. Alright. That's all I need. I'm just gonna move you over here to the... Great. Haha! <laughs> cool. I'm gonna make you a little bit smaller. Awesome. There we go. Number eight. So, uh, I'm gonna untick all the plague clock. I'm gonna tick the siege clock. And now, oh, yes. Okay, this is still fine. Um, and now, I'm going to roll one die and see which point is lost. Hopefully it's number 10. Two. Uh, point five. Where's point five? Point five is gone. What was a point five? The solemn order. Oh man, that's exactly what I did not want to happen. I wanted that mystic boon. Um, well, cool. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, it'll save me a little bit of time, I guess. Mm, okay, so number five is uh, done. Number five. Uh, man, that was a that was a good one. Let me just pop all this off here. Boom! Struck through. Double. There we go. Okay, so uh, that's a bummer, but we got to move on. Moving down to number nine. Oops, come on. I don't want your little menu there. There we go. Moving down to number nine. Take that plague clock. Um, number nine has the ranger's hut. And the ranger's hut, let me go back to the room cam. Uh, the ranger's hut has a situational fight of two segments. Um, I don't have to fight this guy unless two segments on the... Uh, siege clock have gone off. Only one has, so 
I don't need to fight that guy. Ever. 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 Um... Wait a minute. <laughs> Did I make a terrible mistake? Uh, I think there's something that requires me to fight the... Um, oh, Solemn Order. I'm so sad about that. Um, I think that was... Maybe I had to fight the... Nope. You have killed the range of the crit. Yeah, that place is gone, so I never need never need to worry about that guy ever again. Um, yeah, cool. Um, an individual. Wait, is that not the ranger? Um, it doesn't matter because I can't do it. Point four. Oh no, the ranger's back here. Someone. Huh. Oh well. Um, upshot. I don't need to fight him, so I'm not gonna fight him. I don't know if situational is optional or situational as you can't. Um only exist. You do not need to. Situational check. Yeah. I'm going to say that it's not there. Um, so whoever's trying to burn down the ranger's hut, who knows. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to tick one for learn and tick one for search. I get the gnarled claw. Wait, gnarled claw is... I was going to use the Gnarled Claw to get the Mystic Boon. Oh, fuck me. Um, I don't think I need to use it anywhere else. Boo, I made a bad mistake. Okay, well, um, I'll take that. I'll take the um, lore. I'm not going to need the Gnarled Claw for anything now since the uh, Mystics are all mashed. So I'm just going to mark my lore and mark the plague clock. Uh, but I'm going to I'm gonna get me a horse. I'm going to get me a horse. I'm so excited. Um, lore is now two. I, I feel like I've already messed this up, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, great. Back to the keeper. So there's my lore too. Um, So I'm going to go one back here to eight. I, th I did all the stuff at five, so I don't have to go back there. Or at um, seven. Right? Yeah, I did all the stuff at seven. Um, so I'm going to go up to six, I think. Okay, situational fight. Um, so many rippers. I think these guys are going to kill me. I don't want to get killed. I can just take two harm. And then never worry about it again. Um, but there's nothing there. I don't need to worry about it at all, in fact. I don't, I don't see why I would need to do anything... There's nothing that requires me to do that, right? I feel like I could just beat up the Beast Lord now. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway. <sighs> I'm so bummed. I'm so bummed about that. Um, Hinselton. Seven or ten have not been lost. Uh, no, five. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Militia Boon. What is the Militia Boon that we do? Um, that's next time. Mm, sorry. There we go. Um, reduces the starting health of all enemies by one. I mean, reinforced wall seems like it would be good. I'm not going to get the Mystic. Mystic would have been so cool, man. Ugh. Anyway. 
Um, enough, enough, enough. So, I'm not going to go through number six, because that seems like I'm just going to get beat up, and I don't want to get beat up. So I'm going to go back through seven. Um, and that ticks off the play clock again. Nope, I can't, can't click on OBS. Um, so I'm going to go, just go to... Sorry, where'd it go? Um, I want to go to seven, and then eight, or one, and that's going to click off two. Okay, number one, here's where... We're going to get some plague again, I think. Um, learn lore plus one. Delve point four. I visited point nine. Great. Um, the city mark, I don't think I need to worry about because I've got... Oh, yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So here's what we're going to do. Girl... Um, we're going to, uh, learn, which increases lore plus, jeez, ugh, mm. I don't have to do all these in order, only the fights, so, I'm gonna delve to get the city mark, I'm gonna delve to the, get the Outriders banner, or I'm delve to get the city mark, delve to get the horse, the horse let, lets me move twice before marking this play clock, so, here we go. City mark. And a horse. And his name is... Um, What's my horse's name? If anyone's in chat, say my horse's name. My, my horse's name is Believer. Great. Um, Believer. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I've got the city mark. I'm not going to get that. So I'm not going to get that learn yet. Because if I do that, we could lose some stuff. So I'm going to move up to two. Plague clock. I'm going to delve, and that gets me a militia. And the militia, right? The militia reduces the starting health of all enemies by one, including the guy, so that's good. Uh, and that's before the first wave arrives. Sorry. Before the fight begins. And it applies to every wave of enemy. So everyone, everyone all the time. So um, one use of militia. That is what I want. So I'm going to delve. Oh, I'm sorry. I did a uh, delve there and a delve there. Have I not been checking? Uh, have I not been picking these off? Um, sorry. Let me go back and see what I was doing. Um, did not learn. One, two. Delve there. Uh, skip six, eight. Dumb, 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 dumb. Uh, eight. I did. I did fight and learn, and I did not search or delve. Although I could. Yikes. Well, you know what? If it doesn't get wrecked before the guy comes, it doesn't get wrecked before the guy comes. I just want to check one thing about the bad guy. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to work this out. Um... Cool, so I'm marking down, so, sorry. <sighs> Outrider camp. Outrider camp was, I did the search and the delve. Okay, search, nope, not on that one. I did the search and delve there. The ranger's hunt, I decided to, I don't, did I learn there? What's my lore? Mm. My lore is two. 
So I did. That's why you learn, and where else I do learn? I think I did a learn there, right? Seven. I did a learn a seven, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so that was that. Ten. I didn't do anything there. Nine. I think I just made a mistake. Did I do learn there too? I don't remember. Well. I feel like I didn't do the fight. I think I went there anyway. So let me double check. I think I did not do the learn at the Berg. I think I did do the learn at the Ranger's Hut. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I have a bad memory. Um, that's why I should have clicked these off when I did. Um, yeah, worst case, I'll go back. So, regardless. Um, oh, no. Oh, yes. Wait. Back up here. I moved once. I need to move twice to mark that off. So, got that. A lot to keep track of. <laughs> uh, so, now I can learn at the fort, and that will kick off my last one. Okay, so uncheck all these. Check the siege clock, and let's roll to see which town gets mashed. Five. What's five? Point eight. Uh, point eight is Hinselton. That was the wind wreck. Oh, I could have gotten the militia. Okay, so eight is wrecked. Um, I did what I could there. That's fine. Sorry, Hinselton. You did your best. Okay, so Siege Clock is at two. I feel it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's any, like, three, four, five. Oh, well, five is right. So it's three and four. Healing tincture. Just one guy. Ranger of the Wood. That guy seems rough. So if I can take him... Let's talk about this. If I can take him, uh, I get a healing tincture, which would be good. I can go back to the beginning, heal, start the fight. Beast Bell. Two Smashers, one Stalker. Should I fight all these guys? Yikes, I don't know. Oh, and we got, yeah, I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to the quarry. Uh, going to the quarry. Sorry, you can't see this. I didn't, um, nope. Um, going to the quarry. So, since that is my second move... Plague Clock. I'm going to select the fight action, which takes the Plague Clock. Um, I'm going to take it here, and let's go to combat. So I'm going to be fighting some guys. Um, why don't I put the... Well, I don't know. Too late now. Um, so permanent terrain at A1 through A4. Yikes. Permanent terrain, or difficult terrain at B2. C3, I guess it, B2, C3, um, D1, and D4. So that means when you are attacking from there, it's minus, it's minus harm somehow. Um, uh, 
Mm, difficult. Two types of terrain. Difficult terrain. Uh, so whenever a character is in a space with difficult terrain, they deal minus one harm. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. I might just nuke all these guys. So we'll see. Um, cool. Let's see where they are. Two smashers at C2 and B2. B2 and C2. B2 and C2. Okay, sure. Uh, smasher. And a smasher. Oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Um. B2 and C2. I need to fix the... There we go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sorry, it's a bummer. Um, Smasher? Man. I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, I messed up my thing. Smasher. Uh, there's no Smasher. I just want to set the color to whatever. Not like me. Okay. Um, wow. Cool. 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 This was not what I wanted to do, but here we go. I'm just gonna do this by hand. There we go. By hand. There we go. Uh, and the smasher is going here. And great. Good. Good job, me. Uh, smasher is gonna go there. Um. And a stalker is at C1. And little engraved goes to B4. Uh, Y'all don't know what you're in for. Okay, so Smasher is at a minus one to attack from there. I imagine they're going to move. Let's roll for uh, B2, C2, C1. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, so <laughs> the Smashers both got six. Smashers on six, they just do harm five and they don't move, so I'm not getting anywhere near them. Yeah. <sighs> um, cool, that's perfect. And the one means the, what was that, a ripper, a stalker? Uh, one means that it moves one to harm one. And um, I'll do evens, odds. Evens, evens are always horizontal. Odds are always um, vertical. Odds are vertical, so it goes down here. And right now it cannot, none of them can hit me, which is perfect. Um, and since they all have... Um, Stalkers have two and Smashers have three. I'm just going to activate my Dragon Boon and Kablamo. Great, they did. This is a good thing to have in the Beast Realm here. I don't want to fight these guys at all. Um, great, that was easy. Um, I get a reinforced walls for the fight against the Rune Lord. Did I? I did not get the militia from anywhere, did I? I get it from the border fort? Yeah, I got it from the border fort. Militia. I just didn't write it down. One militia. Cool. Um, so that is the there. And the search action gets me a beast bell. I will search and get a beast bell. Search, boom, beast bell. These are all great. Cool. Um, that was my second move on the horse. The horse is going to be a problem to keep track of. Uh, so that was my second move on the horse. I'm going to use one move on the horse to go to four. 
And so that is not it. Um, five is wiped out. Let me add a. I can let me change this. Can I do an option. Let me do a copy paste. No. Is there a red circle somewhere? Um, sorry about this. Why did I not? Hazelton is gone, man. Hazelton is long gone. I don't know how that got undone. Everything's falling apart. Um, great. So I'm at point four. Horse one. Uh, I'm at the Ranger's rest. Great alone figure sits heaving. Crawling at first on all fours, a hooded figure stands slowly before you, their bones and joints popping with the fire. Blood drips from their hands. Oh no, what did the ranger do? Um, cool, I'm going to fight this guy, which is another tick on the clock. I think this is going to be fine. I think we're going to do okay. I think I did all the stuff I need to do. I'm going to fight this guy, get the healing tincture, scoot back, heal up, fight the guy. Um, I don't think the horse was worth it, to be honest, um, for future notice. Just get the stuff to beat the guy. Anywho, um, great, let's do some permanent. Uh, sorry. Oh, you can't see this. <laughs> Here is our ranger's rest. Uh, we're putting permanent terrain at A1, A4, D1, and D4. Difficult at B2, B3, C2, and C3. I need to work that out in the keeper. Um, Ranger of the Wood and me. Great. And the Ranger does um, move two harm. So same and adjacent. Cool. Move one harm two, move two harm three, block one, move one harm two, block two. So um, kind of a butt. Seven health. Am I? No, is my touch stuff twice? Yeah, okay, cool. So don't forget to use my weapon twice when I can. And um, don't forget to do that. If he gets on a three harm, I can just end it. So, so let's see. Um, I'm going to take you back to the keeper. And let's pop over to combat. And let's uh, undo the damage I did here. Um... Great. So, A1, A4, D1, D4. Oh, that's nice. And then B2, 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 B3, C2, C3. So, um, these are all difficult. I'm in difficult. Uh, that's a cool little arena. I like that. And he is at B1, the Ranger. And I am at C4, the engraved. And uh, now we fight. Great. I will roll one die for his actions. Oops, just one die. A three. Okay. So that means he moves to harms three, blocks one. So move two. I imagine he would go here. Ranger, oh man. This is difficult. Sorry. Ranger, uh, move to harm three. So, uh, and he's only the same and adjacent. Uh, harm three. <laughs> and I, I wish I didn't do the flippy thing. Um, and block one. Um, I'm going to find out a way to make it not do the flippy thing, because this is really annoying. Let me roll my stamina. Three and three. So I do not want to get uh, near him. Um, three and three, what does that get me? I'm not taking damage, so I can't use spells, unless I want to block. Um, harm three, so adjacent, and shield doesn't have a range. So I mean... So he's got to harm three. If I move one block two, that's just blocking damage. If I harm three and cleave, we're just trading damage for damage. We both have seven points, so that's not great. Um, 
but I could move, use the spell, do two damage, heal two. So I'd be up one. Because we're at a six right now. Uh, is another is there another spell at a six that would be better? Uh at items. Um the flame. Not a big fan of that. Um Siphon is cool. Firebolt, harm three, and jump. Two or three spaces. Yeah, but that's not... I can't do it. So, uh, no spells. No good. No good. Um, there's no spells from here, is there? No. Um, yeah. I think it just makes the most sense to stay... And not do anything? I guess. Um, yeah, I'm keeping the axe and shield. He's not a... I don't think he's a beast. No, he's not. So the beast blade wouldn't do any good. Um, although, he's in... He's in the, the, the muck there, right? So he's doing minus one. So he's doing two harm to me. Maybe it is worthwhile. Do three harm to him. Take two harm. I'm going to do it. So I am using my... Oh no, I can't. Because <laughs> I, can't, I can't hit him without moving. But I can move and... I mean, he's going to move. I want to be able to move. Yeah, I'm sitting tight. I don't think any good is going to come from me doing anything here. So, super exciting. Let's roll for him. Three again. So, again, he's going to move two, harm three, block one. Oh, yeah, and he's going to block one. So, yeah, dumb, dumb, dumb. Um, move two, harm three, block one. Move two, which means he's going to go right on me. And now he's going to harm three, block one, and he does same in adjacent. So, I need to get at least one away. Yikes. All right. Um, let me roll my stamina. Six and a five. Very nice. So, he's harming three and blocking one. Harm three and cleave. Move one, block two. I don't think I can do better than that. Yeah, so I'm going to move one. To here, adjacent. Um, he's going to do three harm to me. Three harm to me. I'm going to block two of that harm. So that's one. Down to six. I'm going to harm three. He's going to block one of that. So he is down to. Oh, let me see the ranger. Uh, so he's taking two. He's down to five. Great. I can get him two more down and run. We'll be good. Let's have him do his thing. One die for Mr. Ranger. A three again. Move two, harm three, block one. So again, he's going to move right on top of me. And he'll do harm three, block one. Let's see if I get another awesome roll. Six and a four. Still not bad. Um, move to harm to cleave so I can move two I can move one he's going to block one so I can move two get out of the way of his stuff and hope for something better because he's going to do sorry Or, or, I can block one, take the two, harm three, he's going to block one. Let's do this. I can do this. I'm going to block one, so he's going to do me two points. I'm going to harm three. 
And now I'm going to use my Draco Rune. And Blammo. That's fair. Alright. That's fair. I need to fix all these. Sorry. Okay, and by killing the ranger, I get what? Rune Gam. Um, by killing the ranger, I get... A healing tincture. I still want to got him. I still want to got him. Um... Fuck that up, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not going back and doing it again. Um, ooh. Probably I'm down to l less health right now. But I felt like that was fair. Because uh, he wasn't... If he... Yeah, he would have gone out earlier. Sorry. Uh, I was supposed to roll two dice and take the highest for that one. But he doesn't block on a six. I think I could have taken a few more hits. I could have taken... One, two, three. Yeah, easy. One, two, three. I'd be down to one, I think. Yeah, so that'd be fine. All right. Healing tincture. What does the outrider boon do again? That takes off the, takes off one tick. I don't think that did me any good. So. Well, let's get on up back and um, start doing harm to the beast guy. Um, so what does that look like? Uh, I'm going to use my horse. So that's going to be another one there. Um, one, two is another one. And I'm going to heal, right? Because that's that looks like, um, uh, rest, unmark all fights. Great. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but you know, just for completeness. Just the one, I guess. Um, and yeah, if I delve, I'm gonna hit the guy. I think this is. I think this is it. I get one shot. Okay, so just a recap here. Recaper cap. Um, so moving. One, two. Uh, resting took that last one. And now I can fight. Um, siege clock is going to go off, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I got my city mark. I got my devil runner. Uh, so, the things I have are... I get one shot at Gorax. Um, I'm going to assemble my boons. So I've got a militia and a reinforced wall. I would love the mystic. Uh, let me go ahead and set my health back to 12. Um, does it make sense to have this number? Yeah, I guess it does, because I need a... Never mind. I should make that two. I should make that two columns. I don't want to right now. But, um, Laura's do the lore really didn't matter this time around. A bunch of stuff got killed. Um, I'll roll for the last city for my last mark when I fight. Two, um, that's the same one, I think. Yeah, uh, roll again if I repeat again. 
one. Great. So one takes out point two. Oh, poor bandit camp. Um, or border camp, border fort, not bandit camp. <laughs> they're not bandits. They're they're good. They're good guys. Um, that's fine. We're gonna take care of you once and for all. Uh, Gorlock, or whatever your name is. Gorex. I'm gonna get move all these to the combat over here. Gorex. I think he's 12. Gorax, the Beast Lord. Um. Howl, reduce the wave d6 by one. Oh, yikes. Okay. So he's going to need a little clock. Um, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the uh, wave counter. Uh, when all six of these get filled, a new wave of buddies comes. So uh, they get filled when get back to Gorax here. Uh, Gorax, the Beast Lord. Um, okay, great. So he's going to uh, howls echo off the stone walls of Hartford, and the ground quakes below your feet. The assembled defenses face off against the massive force of beasts at the center. Towering above all others stands Gorax, Lord of Beasts, Feller of Trees, Harbinger of the Bloody Claw. As you fight Gorax, waves of reinforcements arrive. Set aside a d6. Da, 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 da. Um, after each round, reduce it. Okay, so each round gets a tick, and he can howl to make a tick. So probably realistically got four turns before the wave arrives. I've got a wall, so that's going to take care of one. Um... They all go on the bottom. And, um, yeah, they just start filling it up on the bottom. Uh, when I kill Gorax, the reinforcements are gone. Uh, and I get my room. So let's set up this fight. Uh, let me show you what Gorax looks like while I fiddle with the fight. Um, cool. So, uh, difficult terrain at A, or... Difficult, oh man, uh, difficult, difficult, I mean difficult, uh, A1, A3, sorry, A3, B2, C3 and 4, D1 and 2, okay, so a little bit of stuff to play with, um, Gorax is at B4, Smashers are at A4, and D4. Oh, they're coming in from the bottom. And I start at the top at E1. Great. And so, uh, more of the buddies come in. I don't know why that one fight was so rough. That was so rough. Um, Gorax is a beast. Right? Gorax is a beast. Um, Gorax is a beast. So, I think it makes sense to switch to the Beast Sword instead of the Great Axe. So, although that is cool, um, Beast Sword does two, four, sorry, let me get some more rows over here so y'all can see. Um, yay! Good, good time, everyone. Great. Um, there we are. So, Beast Bane Blade. Move to harm. Move uh, harm one and two. For Beast, it's going to be two and three. And this is also always two and three. Is that? Is the blade... The blade's just adjacent. My axe is just adjacent. I hit a little bit more often. 
but but what this cleaves I think I want to keep the cleave let me let me take a look see at how much damage he does it doesn't seem like he does a lot of damage I mean comparatively I'm gonna keep the X maybe this so let me think This does harm two on four and harm three on five and six. This does harm. So I'm counting that as eight harm, right? Um, four, six, six harm plus. So two and two is four, six, three, two and three harm. I think I need to use the blade. It's not gonna. It's not gonna chain. Right, but. And. The cleave only does one harm. So guess what? We're using the beast blade. We got the beast blade. We're gonna use the beast blade. Um, I'm happy with the shield. Blocking a little bit of harm is good. I've got some harm. I've got my healing tincture. I've got the beast bell. And the beast bell does... Um, beast bell does... Where is it? Beast bell. Beast bell. Beast bell. Come on, man. Uh, when used during combat, all beasts skip their next turn. And Gorax is a beast. So... One use. Um, and my healing, I can recover three health. So, I don't know, man. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Um, Gorex, what's up? Never had to fight a pack lead. All right. Um, let's see. So we've got Gorax and two Smashers. Let's roll three dice. I hate, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <sighs> okay, so Gorax got a six. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't sound the horn, which is good. He doesn't howl, I mean. Um, he's gonna heal two and a harm two. He's gonna heal two and a harm two. He didn't take any damage yet. Um, and he is not moving, so you chill, Gorax. Um, 23. Did I write down? It's 12. Jeez, oh. My God. Ah. Um, great. And a 5 and a 3 for the Smashers. Uh, smashers. So those are both going to do move 2, harm 2. Um, let me roll two dice for the, uh, vertical up and down, or, okay, so, uh, the first one is going up, so move two, move two, harm two, right, is that what I said? Move two, harm two. So you move up here, smart, and this one's gotta go, well, it's gotta go that way anyway, so. Let me just indicate there. Um, and it's doing a harm to you. So none of those are hitting me, which is good for now. Um, let's see what I do. Five and a six. Ha. Huh. So, I can block two, and I can move one to harm two. Sorry, let me put those guys on the, um, on the combat page. Um, they will have health three. Um...
So again, I can move one, harm two, move one, block two. So that is three points with a beast. Um, I'm going to move one here. I'm going to block those two damage. And I'm going to deal two damage. Plus one kills the beast. And I take no damage. Kabao. Cool. Okay, Gorax and the last smasher. Let's roll dice. Oh, and uh, take up that. I hate the flippy. Uh, thing. A six and a one. Gorax, again, just hanging out there. Just throwing a tantrum. Um, and so a one. Uh, smasher does move one, harm one. He's going to move straight towards me. And let me set this. Sorry, this is garbage. Um, move one, harm one. He's in difficult terrain, which means he deals no harm to me. So I can just sit there and whack him, I guess. Uh, let's see what happens with me. Two and a one. <sighs> well, move two, harm one. Um, that'll do harm two. Cool. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Once per fight, I can use a weapon. I do not want to bother with that. I don't want to bother with that. Nah, I'm just going to do two harm to him. I'm not taking any harm, so no skin off. Great. Uh, and Gorax is going to sit there and do... Um, it's going to heal and harm and do nothing. Little Gorax. <sighs> better, better now than later. Okay. End of round, uh, and he's not howling, which is great. So let's do a uh, time check. Great. Um, where was I? Rolling for Gorax and the Smasher. Five and a one. Okay, so now Gorax is going to move to harm two and howl. So, howl! Um, move to uh, is he going up or to the right he's going up straight up so here's Gorex and he's going to harm two as well all right and the smasher um what did I roll for the smasher What did I just do? Oh, five and one, sorry. Um, Smasher is doing a one, which means he's moving one, harming one, which means he's moving here. All right, I'm gonna have some decisions to make. Um, Gorax isn't blocking though. He never blocks. That's great. What do my two dice say? A six and a one. Hmm. So. Oh. I should have kept the axe. <laughs> should have kept the axe. Um. Great. I think I'm gonna use my double on this one. Um. So I'm definitely gonna move. Well, I don't know. You know, I can move one, harm two. Take him out. And let Gorax come to me. And I'll take a point. I'll take a point. I'm going to take a point of damage. He's going to move one, harm one. I'm going to deal three points and move on here. What spells can I cast? I got six. I can do a drain on him. I can do a drain on him. I'm going to do a drain on him. Oh, I can do harm three and jump, and that will be... Oh, I could do a... I could do... 
Harm 3 on Gorax. Okay, this is what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to move one. I'm going to do it up so I don't have to... Um, this little bud is going to do one point of damage to me, which is fine. I'm going to take that one point and turn it into a spell for my six. That's going to be a harm three and jump. I'm going to cast that at Gorax. Gorax is going to take three points of damage. And it's going to jump to an adjacent enemy. And do three to the little buddy. This is what I like. Um, Blamo. And he did. Cool. I didn't do the uh, the militia thing. That's that's wrong. Twelve. Militia takes it down by one. Takes it down by three. So that should have been dead anyway. Don't worry about it. Um, everything's everything's fine. Uh, Eleven minus three is eight. Gorax is at eight. Great. That's from the militia. Totally forgot. Cool. And Gorax does no damage to me, uh, except I'm not adjacent to him, so let us uh, continue. Uh, just one die for Gorax now. Oh, and uh, take the clock. I think I think this is going to be fine. Gorax gets a six, so he's going to sit there, he's going to heal two, and he'll harm two if I get near him. Let's see what I do. A six and a three. So Gorax is doing two. Um, a six and a three. So again, if he's going to do two points to me, I can drain him for two and get those back. And the three, I can do a harm one. I mean, I, the three, I'm going to use a move to... Yeah, okay, cool, this is gonna happen. Uh, move two is gonna get me in range here. And I'll go here. Um, he's gonna do two points of damage to me. Take me down to nine. I'm gonna use that six to turn that into a drain two. So I'm gonna heal those two back and do two to him. So he's gonna take three altogether, I'm gonna take nothing. End of round. Let's do this again. A six again. Heal two. Harm two. If I sit there. It's not howling at least. Um, this is interesting. A five and a one. So I can add those together for a six. Um, again, he's going to do two harm to me. I'm going to use that to drain. I'm going to sit there and uh, take him back down to seven. Great, end of turn. Next wave comes, wall blocks it. So I've got the, so I use the militia. Oh, I've still got the beast bell. I've still got the beast bell. Um, so militia's gone, reinforced walls are gone. Beast bell, don't forget the beast bell. Don't forget the healer. If I three points, B spell I can freeze them. Cool. Um, so we're gonna unmark these. Now I just gotta concentrate on him and get him down. before the next wave comes. I think this is going to be okay. Um, hey, look, we're doing a whole realm in one session. Okay, he gets a four. So he's going to harm one and howl. He's not moving. Harm one, I'm not afraid of. We'll see. Uh, in fact, that might let me cast a spell. Four and a three. Great. Um, 
so I can harm one, block one. I can take that damage. I don't think that's going to let me use any spells. Drain one. I can drain one and deal two harm to all same and adjacent. Let's see. He's going to do one damage. I'm going to turn that into a spell, drain one, and get it back. So that's one for him. Um, and then the three, I'm going to harm another one. So that's two for him. And I don't take any because I drained it back. And that's that. Cool. I'm feeling good about this. Gorlax is, seems like a kind of chill dude. A five. So a five means that he moves to harm Sue's and howl. So let's do the howl. He's going to move right on top of me. And he's going to do harm two to me. I have not used my dragon howl yet. Um, or the double smash. So I'm probably going to use both of those, I guess. Um, so he's going to harm two. I'm not worried about that. Uh, let me roll two dice to see what I can do. A four and a two. Great. Um, that gets me a six. So I can... Oh, I haven't been adding the beast pluser. Um, so I'm going to add those together, get a six, harm three him. Uh, I'm going to take the two... Which takes me down to nine. And I'm going to use my Draco Rune, which uh, deals three harm to an enemy. And uh, Blamo, Gorax is gone. Bye bye, Rune Lord. I feel like I've got it. I think that's uh, super overpowered. Uh, I'm not mad about it, but uh, yeah. So Gorax is gone. Uh, the realm is saved. Um, do I want to toot around and see if there's anything left? Um, let's go back to Rune and see if I can... Uh, so now the clocks are all done. Um, so first off, I get the fell mark. Um, what does the fell mark do? The fell mark... Uh, oh, cool. So I'm just going to add that. You can read it while I add it to my items. Um, and this rune. This is the fell mark. It's a rune. And it lets me... Um, cool, so... Oh, my return key. Come on, man. I may need to fix that somehow. Um, do ba doo ba doo Yeah, so, um, I can roll an extra die during combat. If I do take a harm... I don't know, that's not bad. I mean, it's not as good as my Draco Rune. It's not as good as my plus two health. And I can use a weapon twice, once per round. Um, that lets me roll any time. As many times as I want to trade for harm. It's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know if I can give up my Draco Rune now. Um, cool. I don't think I can get that Windwalker mark anymore. That was, um, in one of the places that was wrecked. Yeah. I think Hensleton was wrecked, right? Yeah, Hensleton was the first one wrecked, I think. Um, no, if I was... This is, yeah, so I can't get that Wind Walker mark uh, anymore. Um, I think that's fine. I don't think I'm going to ever equip. Some, if I'm, I'm going to try, do my best not to get to two or less health remaining. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. I think, um, what's the text here? Nothing. Um, I did it. I didn't get any extra waves of bad guys. Those, those beasts fucking suck, man. Jeez. Um, anyway, cool. Uh, it's coming up on 2 a.m. Great. Um, spring break. Anyway, uh, that was Rune. 
the Fell Woods. Uh, only destroyed three towns. Not terrible, I guess. Um, I'm sleepy. So, yeah. Uh, how many... So, in, in the Rune Atlas, I've done two. Um, there are... One, two, three, four left. And I might grab some extra ones. Uh, yeah. Or I might write one myself. We'll see. No promises. <laughs> Here's something for a billion. You can get a billion damage. You have to fight a bunny. Oh, we got a new bunny, by the way. Don't fight it. It's the cutest thing. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. If you are, uh, you're probably watching in the future if you are, because I don't think. Yeah, there's. Uh, oh, there's users. Hey! Uh, 01 Ella, Alessandra, Ella Gathering, Commander Root, Drafts, Nat, Isabel, Kata, and Nat Zelly. You are all hanging out and watching. Uh, chat if you want to, anytime, man. Um, I hope you like watching Rune. Uh, thanks for hanging out uh, in chat, at least, if you're not on. Uh... Dang. I didn't know people were watching this. Great. Um, hi, Phil. Thanks for hanging out in chat. Thanks for hanging out in chat. Feel free to say, to say hi. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Um, that's Rune. That's pretty cool. Next time we're gonna do Frostdale. Um, I expected to get wrecked in this one, and almost did with that one beast fight. But that beast blade saved my. Well, I don't know they're fine. Um, yeah, that beast blade is cool. I don't know if beasts are ever gonna come up again. Up again, but yeah. Uh, next week we'll do Frostdale. And, uh, yeah, maybe it'll take more than one shot. Who knows? Maybe not. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got. I'm going to go to sleep. I have to get up early tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, thanks for watching in the future. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, go to Major Arcana uh, or major.itch.io. Get some stuff. Some stuff is free. Some stuff is not. Um, if you email me or message me, I'll totally give you a code for free stuff. Uh, I would rather you play games and have fun than spend money. So that's all I got. Uh, like and subscribe or whatever you do. <laughs> and uh, tune in on Thursday. Oh, big deal. Um, the Gauntlet, uh, Jason Cordova and Friends, uh, just released Public Access, which, which is a new carved from Brindlewood game, uh, solving mysteries and whatnot. Uh, this one is super creepy like super 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 creepy uh 80s and 90s uh creepy pasta videotape nostalgia monster hunting stuff uh it looks completely nuts i'm starting a 12 shot run of it on monday i'm super excited to do that um so tune in monday for our, our first uh, episode episode zero of um public access that's gonna be a great time to Thursday is our regular Faded Haven game with uh, Mouse Ritter. Uh, mice are doing great. Super cute. They're doing the thing. They got back to town. They got some money. They're going to level up soon. Uh, I'm going to change some stuff a little bit, I think, because it's a little bit too crunchy for the group. Uh, and, uh, you know, if it doesn't serve what we want to do, it's not the game we want to play. I do like playing with mice. I do like the setting, the estate. Uh, so I'm going to add a couple little bits and pieces, uh, tighten up the character keeper a lot, so, a little bit, so it's not as much draggy around stuff, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, that's all I've got, like I said, I'm gonna go to sleep, uh, take care, good night, and I will see you next time.